Madam Chair, now we can go back to the public comment period on the agenda. Is there anyone here who would like to make comments?
I'm not going to sit here and talk about the many homicides that have happened in our city and the many prayer vigils that I've had to oversee families I've seen cry, whether it's black, white, Hispanic, Muslims. We are there as citizens against crime. I'm not going to sit here today and talk about how much I found Alicia raising digs in her pocket to take her retirement money. The last of what she has to buy candles or put a coat on a deceased person that family don't even have money to put a suit on a young man or put a towel. I'm not going to sit here and talk about the many times we've stood out the cold and whether it's in the fifth or the eighth or whether it's in the first or the second. Crime is going to hit there and there will come a time when people are going to need someone there. I'm not going to talk about the many times that I've seen you, Councilwoman Trammell, or you, Councilwoman Newby, or you even, our newest councilman, that homicide happened in your area and you was right there on the spot representing the city of Richmond. What I am concerned about today, well, I'm not going to even talk about the need for to be look at uh, safety measures that are in place so we can prevent the tragedy like happened in Brazil, Brazil, the one where 232 young folks died in a nightclub because there was not proper fire extinguishers or proper exit doors. I'm not going to talk about that. What I am going to talk about is my speaking before council on the 14th of this month. And I share again, I want to share again that if it comes to any opportunity where there's something that speaks about our community and it has to deal with businesses, then we need to have an opportunity as citizens to speak before that. I'm very disappointed that a nightclub ordinance paper or something that had to deal with zoning went before the consent agenda with only three council persons as patrons. So I thought with its consent, all council members are consented with it. But I saw that paper and then not to know that that paper did not even come to this committee right here was very disappointing. I'm not arguing about the fact that what it was, in the meat in the paper, it was just the fact that the citizens didn't have an opportunity to speak on it until it hit city council. By then, once it hit council and the council chambers, I have not seen the opportunity where a council member changes their mind right there. This is where the work is. This is where the citizens have an opportunity to come just like these police officers that need the raises, just like these firemen that need raises, they're here tonight and other folks are here tonight to talk about the opportunity to speak before you all so you all can take those concerns back. So again, I just want to express my concern that you can share with your colleagues that it's important that papers like that come back to the subcommittees. That's why they were formed. So someone like myself, little old me, can have an opportunity to speak before you all. But again, thank you so much for the opportunity. And, uh, I just look forward to more opportunities that citizens, myself and others that are out here, that can speak to different papers or hear about what's going on behind the scenes. Thank you so much. And also, Charles, <laughs> as also a citizen like you, I hope that you will support these police officers and these firefighters because they're the backbone of this Richmond, Virginia. So let's, all remember, let's always remember that. Those police officers and these firefighters, they are the backbone of our city. Without them, we're going to be nothing. So, so Mr. Mayor and council members and everybody else needs to realize that. And once they speak tonight, then maybe we'll realize more about them. Can I just 10 seconds? 10 more seconds. Go ahead. Please. One thing citizens don't realize that I do, Councilwoman Trump, and that is often folks overlook the police department and they overlook the fire department. You never hear about it until you make a call, then folks are saying, where are they? Yeah. Where are the police department? Mm -hmm. Where the fire? Let something happen at your house. Then people call and they want to ask, where are they? Where are they? So you're exactly right. I fully support them.
try to help, help them to reconcile the difference because we love Mayor Jones and we love Chief Norwood, Chief Norwood and we want him to stay here and, and, and we don't want the risk breaking us apart. We have excellent police, his strategies are excellent. Why he would be told not to come to a meeting? That he, he, he no longer to come to our meetings? What, is, what kind of craziness is this? And I say, I, 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 don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to get to the negativity or the pettiness of it because I don't leave out our mayor's jealous of the police chief like most brand new people are out there saying. No, I don't believe that because Mayor Jones is a star in his own right. Am I right? No claps? Okay. But he is. <laughs>